So this question is a diagram question. We see this complicated shape here with an X uh, in the corner here, and then a lot of numbers in all of the other angle spaces. So let's read this first and see exactly what we want to pay attention to. So the question says lines A, B, C, and D are shown below. So we see those lines. And then it says and line A or A is parallel to B. Okay, so what does it mean to be parallel? So if A and B are parallel, that would make C one transversal of lines A and B. And that makes D another transversal of lines A and B. And if you recall, there are special angle relationship relationships um, alternate interior angles same side interior angles and I'm just writing this down just in case you don't remember some of these terms same side interior angles corresponding angles right hopefully this is ringing a bell with some things you learned in geometry, corresponding angles. These are the types of things that we find uh, whenever we have two parallel lines intersected by a transversal. So the next part of the question says, which of the following is the set of all angles that must be supplementary to angle X? All right, so if I'm focusing on angle X, then how do I know which other angles are supplementary? So I'm going to plug in answers to do this. So it looks like they all have one. I'm not going to try that. They all have angle two, so there's no need to try that. But here's where we have some differentiation. Three of these options have angle five as being a supplement, and the you know choice H does not have angle five. It has angle nine. So let's test this out. Is angle five supplementary to angle X? Is the sum of angle 5 and angle X equal to 180 degrees? Because that's what supplementary means. Well, what do I know about angle 5? Well, I do know that it's supplementary to angle 4, which would mean that angle 4 would have to be equal to or congruent to angle X in order for angle 5 to also be supplementary to angle X. Hopefully that makes sense. In order for angle 5 to be supplementary to angle X, that would mean that angle X has to be congruent to angle four. They would have to be the same measurement. Um, we could also, just for clarity, we could also make some numbers up here. Um, we could always say if X is, what makes sense here given the shape, let's say if X is 100 degrees, that makes angle one 80 degrees, that makes angle 3, 100, angle 2, 80, that makes angle 8, 100, because of same side interior, that makes angle 11, 100, because of vertical angles, that makes angle 9, 80, because of supplementary, that makes angle 10, 80, and then none of those numbers actually translate to any of these angles down here, because these angles are all on a separate transversal right, this line D. So what that tells me is that there's nothing down here that relates to angle X, and therefore, because angle 5 is a part of this set of angles, any answer choice that includes angle 5 or any of the angles in this bottom set must be incorrect, and therefore, my final answer must be angle H, and I can confirm that. Um, angle 9, I have 80. Yep, that's supplementary to 100. And angle 10, I have also 80, which is also supplementary to 100 degrees, or angle X. So <clears throat> my final answer here is H.